Hey everyone, so today we are going to be learning from chapter 4, lesson 4, Multiply Mixed Numbers. Okay, the title's at the top. Go ahead and write it down on your focus notes. Um, and then we have our questions column and our notes column. Um, and before we even start with the lesson, I want to start off with some vocabulary. So write, go ahead and write vocabulary in this column. And then um, set up your notes. So we have fraction, mixed number, and improper fraction. Those are the three vocabulary terms we're going to briefly show examples of and talk about. So fraction, okay, um, I define fraction as having, um, we have our total, total of the whole in the denominator section, and then we have part in our numerator. So that would be part of a whole, okay? That's how I define it in class, um, and I think it'll help us when we're drawing models. So mixed number, um, mixed number is going to look like something like this, 2 and 4 fifths. So mixed number has a whole number, and then it also has um, a fraction, okay? That's why it's mixed. Um, and an improper fraction it's going to look something like this, 6 fourths, where um, the numerator is larger than the denominator. All right, so now that we have at least an example and kind of talked about some of our, our vocabulary terms, let's go on to what we're doing today, and that is multiplying mixed numbers. So if you remember in lesson 1 of chapter 4, Okay, um, we were estimating. First we estimated fraction of a whole, then we estimated um, fraction of a fraction, and then we estimated a mixed number times a mixed number, so we were rounding. Today, we are going to be solving, okay? So we're going to be solving, not estimating. And I'll just put solve. So we know that we're not rounding. Okay, so we are going to multiply a fraction and a mixed number. Okay? So multiply a fraction and a mixed number. Again, a fraction is going to look something like this. It might be an improper fraction that we're multiplying. Um, and then our mixed number is going to look like that. So um, let's start off with some steps here. So we're going to find 5 and 1 half times 1 and 3, 1 third. Okay, so when it says find, it really means we want to solve. So um, let's show our work in this space. First step is going to be to convert. So what we need to convert is going to be our mixed number. Okay, so this is the key to this lesson. If we get a mixed number, we need to convert it to an improper fraction, okay? Once we do that, we're just multiplying fractions times a fraction, which is what we did in lesson three. So we have five and one half, okay? Um, before we even started this chapter, we worked a lot on um, multiplying, or a lot on converting mixed numbers and converting um, improper fractions to mixed numbers. So if you remember this worksheet here, this is going to help us a lot where we had that kind of texting smiley face with the X and the plus. So if we go back to our notes for today, okay, so we have five and one half. I'm going to just draw this little text smiley face where we have the times and the plus. So we're going to multiply first, then we are going to um, add. So what we're multiplying is going to be 5 times 2. Okay, 
And then we're going to add the product of that, add that to 1. Okay, and that's why there's an arrow, because first you're multiplying 5 times 2, and add the product to 1. Okay, so 10 plus 1 is 11. Now I'm going to put this over our total, okay, out of how many pieces there are in a whole. So 11 over 2. Just going to draw some arrows real quick. So from 5 and 1 half, here's our work. We're converting to an improper fraction. Okay, second step. Step 2 is to multiply fractions. And this is what we did in lesson three again, okay? So I'm going to rewrite our problem. Now that I converted the mixed fraction, I'm going to rewrite that. So 11 over 2 times 1 third, okay? Now I can multiply my numerator times my numerator and multiply denominator times the denominator, okay? And before I start multiplying, I'm going to see, is there anything that I need to simplify? So I don't see any numbers from the numerator or denominator that have a common number. Um, so it doesn't look like, it's, like I can simplify anything. So I'm going to continue multiplying. 11 times 1 is 11. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so my answer is 11 6. If you want to put it in um, mixed number form, it would be 1 and 5 6. Okay, so you can either leave it in an improper fraction or mixed number. Both of those work. Okay, so um, let's go on to the second strategy of multiplying mixed numbers. Okay, that second strategy is to multiply a mixed number times a mixed number. Okay, so here we have two mixed numbers. All right, so... Um, I'm going to find one and seven eighths times three and one third. Okay, so um, again, I have two mixed numbers, which isn't so different from um, what I did here. Here I just had one mixed number. And I had to convert that to an improper fraction in order to multiply. Here I have two mixed numbers. Um, I'm going to convert both of them and then I'll get my improper fractions. So then I can multiply. Okay. So let, I'm going to do step one. Step one is to convert. So I'm going to convert both of them. I have one and seven eighths. I'm going to remember that smiley face. So I'm going to multiply first, then add the product to the numerator. So 1 times 8 is 8. And then I'm going to add that product, 8 plus 7. It's 15. So I'm going to write 15 over 8. Okay, and there's my improper fraction for the first mixed number, the second mixed number. Three and one third. You 
use this as my reminder, I'm going to multiply 3 times 3. Okay, I'm going to add that product to um, the numerator, so 9 plus 1. I got 10. And write 10 over our denominator. Okay, now I have both of my um, improper fractions. I can now multiply. Okay, I'm going to multiply my numerators first, 15 times 10, and 8 times 3. All right, before I start to multiply, I'm actually going to make sure that I simplify everything through. So that means if I have any numbers that have the greatest common factor, okay, that means they have a number in common, greatest number, then I'm going to simplify those. So I notice that 15 and 3 have a number in common. They have the number 3 in common. So 3 goes into 3 and 3 goes into 15. Okay, so at this point I'm dividing. I'm doing 15 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3. But in my head, you can also think of it as how many times does 3 go into 3? It's once. How many times does 3 go into 15? 5 times. Okay? So, I'm going to rewrite that. 5 times 10 and 8 times 1. Um, but, I still have a number in the numerator and a number in the denominator that has a greatest common factor. Okay, they have a number in common, so I can simplify those. So 8 and 10 have the number 2 in common. Okay, 2 goes into 8 4 times, and 2 goes into 10 5 times. So I'm going to rewrite the problem. Okay. So now I'm multiplying 5 times 5 and 4 times 1. Five times five is twenty-five and four times one is four. Okay, so that's my answer. Um you can put it in a mixed number, um, but you don't have to. So um for this lesson, we were just multiplying mixed numbers. Um what you had to do was convert the mixed number to an improper fraction, and then you're just multiplying the fractions, okay? So this is what we did in lesson three. Um, it shouldn't be too um, challenging for some of you. Um, I'm going to show the got it problems on page 282. So if you want to pause the video here, do so now. Try the got it problems for yourself on page 282, 283. Um, I'm going to show the answers. Okay, and then the got it problem on page 283. Here's the solution. Okay, so the answer is over here. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.